Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to 2018. Today I'm going to show you how I planned in my new happy planner for the monthly view of January 2018. I am so excited to begin planning in this new planner. As you can see, it's the blue and copper and that blue is my favorite color. So I'm super excited. I um, have already set it up a little bit. So I'm just going to go in and pull the January monthly pages out. And to, to uh, achieve this monthly spread, I used something very different I've never used before. I purchased some stickers from Erin Condren. I do have a haul up on my channel. This is the monthly book, the monthly sticker book from Erin Condren. And these colors matched amazingly with the spread or the colors in the Happy Planner, which was amazing. So I was super excited. Now with this, you get two different color schemes. You get the blue and silver, and then there's a green and silver. So I kind of stuck with the blue and silver stickers for the monthly spread. And this, guys, is going to be a before the pen spread, like a pre-planning spread. It's not going to be a spread that shows everything. It's just going to be a pre-planning spread. Okay, so I will come back closer to the middle or the end of the month and we'll do another spread. We'll do another spread um, just showing you how I went and added everything else in like my bill dues and things like that. So, so let's get started. Now, this um, full box or this little quote sticker was oh, caught my eye. The best is yet to come. So I just had to add that in there. Um, and I'm going to add these uh, deco stickers denoting that it is the new year. And then also this other full box sticker it says this time to sparkle. Over here on the sidebar, I'm just going to use some of this uh, like little washi strip that they have here in the kit. And this looks like it might be used to block out days or, you know, even outline the dates but we're going to use this under here to add that black and silver to it which is super nice i really like this Paydays are going to go down now, and I'm going to use these little circled blue and silver dots, and I'm going to add some money stickers. They didn't have anything for paydays, so I just add a little money icons there to denote that those are our paydays. Me and my husband, we get paid on the same day, so it's going to be consistent. And then um, working on the budget... Uh, budgeting for us as well for this year trying to come up with a spread so yeah I'm gonna do that and then I'm just gonna add this little rest leftover piece of the washi strip down to the bottom and I'm going to line the full box up with it to make it look a little bit more seamless I just like the way the colors are coming together with the blue black and the silver here I'm going to add a little bit more deco to the New Year section. They had a whole lot in this little monthly kit from Erin Condren with just like party hats and snowflakes and things like that. So I just kind of wanted to use some of it. Not all of it, but some of it. Now on the day after my paydays, that's going to be the day that I actually sit down on that Saturday morning and make sure that all the bills are paid. I'm going to um, make sure that all the auto drafts have come out. So I'm just going to denote that by using these pay bill stickers. And those pay bills come from the Mombi Happy Planner sticker books. And those money icons, those dollar bills, I got that from a paper house sticker pack. The uh, blue box that's on the 31st, I'm going to use that to write in where I'm going to review the finances for the month on the last day of the month. 
The second Sunday will be the shopping day for the month. Um, so I'll denote that there with the shopping trip sticker or shopping day sticker. And on back to the sidebar we go. Now here on the sidebar, I'm going to set three goals for us monthly and for me monthly. Just three goals because three goals to me are attainable. I don't want to put too many things on there. So I'm using a step sticker from the Happy Planner as well as a goal sticker. I'll just cover that up. And then I'm going to use these three little ch circle checks that I found in my Happy Planner sticker book. And I'm going to um, put those there, just the three of them. And I'm going to come up with three goals that I can use for the month of January that I want to accomplish. Now I do have a budget worksheet that I'm using as well and I've made goals for that but this is more of the home or personal goals because I'm setting schedules and I want to try to stick to my schedules so I need to set some goals for myself. Next thing, I'm just looking over the spread. I do want to add more there to the sidebar. And also, um, I'm going to grab another. There are two of each washi strip in this Erin Condren monthly book. So I'm going to grab the second of the black and silver. And I'm going to go ahead and rip that off. And I'm going to look for a quote to use under that. Something that's going to inspire me to help me meet my goals for this year. So I take to my faith sticker book from Mom B. And I found this quote here. I love that blue and silver. It, it, I was so excited to find that there. So I'm just going to add that on this half of the week. Just to balance the quote that I'm going to put in my bottom left of the sidebar, which is the she turned her can'ts quote. And this you hear this a lot. And I'm just really excited about that. I love the silver foil. It's so perfect for this red. It's so perfect. So I'm just going to add that there on the bottom. And I'm really liking how simple the spread looks. It's so simplistic. It's not too much going on. Now, once we get to the end of the month, this spread will be full. But I don't want to put things in that I'm not sure are going to happen. I want to make sure I'm using this very functional and not more, you know, just putting things just to put things in. So I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of that washi strip that was left that black from the sidebar and these things are measured out beautifully for the happy planner even though they're Erin Condren stickers and I know the sizes there's differences but these this these strips are measured out perfectly so here is a look at the first side of our monthly spread and then here's a look at the second side So and that is my spread and I do appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe so that you will be able to see more. Comment down below if you've ever tried to use the Erin Condren monthly kits in your happy planner. These are all the stickers that I have left and I may take this other green and gray and silver and use it in a weekly. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy planning. And I look forward to seeing you guys and hearing from you in the comments. Thank you and bye-bye.